Hello, gentlemen, and welcome back to the Jay Butler Shoe Care Series. This is a multi-part series where we're gonna talk about how to best take care of your shoes. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what to do with your shoes when you first get them. There's a couple quick, easy things that you can do to really prepare the shoes for wear. My name is Justin Jeffers. I'm the founder of Jay Butler Shoes. You see our Millbank Bit Loafer here. You can see everything else we have at jbutler.com. I've been working with loafers and leather goods for the last seven years. I think I can speak pretty confidently on what, how to best take care of your shoes, and it's a topic that I love discussing. So I hope you guys enjoy. Now with new shoes, there are a couple of quick things to do. First, you inspect the shoes, apply a light little balm and cream, and then you wear them. So you've received your shoes, whether Jay Butler's or some other brand, you know, check them out, make sure you're happy with the look. You know, are they your style? How do they look? How do the soles look? These look good, there's no stray threads, there's no blemishes in the leather. Try your shoes on, I recommend trying them on on a carpet, uh, some soft surface. Don't try them on on tile or hardwood or concrete. You don't wanna scratch up or scuff up the sole. A lot of brands, including Jay Butler, we cannot accept shoes back if the sole is damaged or scratched, so try them on on carpet. Once you've done all that, you know, give them a dust off, See how they look, look fresh, they look clean, awesome. Now what you wanna do is really prepare the leather for wear. A lot of shoes in the factory are given some type of finish or some type of you know, light application of cream or polish, but many times those shoes are gonna sit on the shelves for weeks, months, sometimes even years, and you know they need to be kind of just refreshed when they first get out of the box. So you really wanna kind of nourish the leather and feed the leather when you first get the shoes. What we have here is a pair of our caramel bit loafers with a silver bit, and I'm gonna use this pair as an example of what to do. This is gonna be kind of the test sample uh, that will remain the same, and this is the one we're going to do a little work on. I recommend using Saphir products for all of your shoe care needs. We offer an assortment of their line at jbutler.com. The two things we have here is a Saphir leather balm and a Saphir neutral cream polish. Now, you're certainly welcome to use a colored polish. We could use this medium brown if maybe we wanted to try and darken the caramel just a little bit. The couple of other tools you'll need, you'll need a buffing brush, you'll need a dauber if that's your style. I prefer to use just a white t-shirt, I'll cut it up, and what you can do is just kind of wrap it around your, your two fingers. Why I like it is it just gives me a little more closer feel with the leather, a little more tactile control over the cream application and the shoe and everything like that. Let's start with it. We're gonna use the leather balm first, just to nourish the leather, restore some moisture to it. You don't need a lot, just a little bit, kind of rub it all over the shoe, like this. And you know, some guys and girls, they prefer to use a shoe tree when they're doing stuff like this. I actually prefer just use my hand. Again, it's kind of a tactile control thing. I feel, you know, I feel the leather, I feel the shoe. It gives me a handle on, you know, what the shoe is like, what it's, how it's wearing, if it's a, you know, shoe that you've worn for a while, if you're polishing the shoes, and it's just a little lighter to hold as well. So we got the leather balm all over the shoe. We covered the van, we covered the sides, we even hit the stitching, and we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes to dry, then we're gonna buff it. So these shoes have been drying for like 10 minutes. Now, I'm just gonna buff off any excess leather balm. You could also use like a, um, you know, a towel or a rag if you wanted to. And then once you've done that, I like to let it sit for a few more minutes, just let it dry out so that the leather can really receive the cream that we're gonna use. Shoes have now dried out for a few minutes. And again, we have a Saphir cream polish. This is from their Beauté QR line. What it means in English is a beauty of leather. You can find all these products, of course, at jballer.com. So I do, I take a little dab, put it on my fingers, and now I'm ready to rub it into the leather. Pretty simple, it's hard to mess up. Just apply light pressure, rub it into leather, rub it into the seams if you need to. You know, sometimes you can hit the, the edges where the leather was cut if you want. So like this, very simple, very easy. You know, hit the stitching. If you're using a colored cream, especially on shoes that have been worn before, you can even use the colored cream to dress the welt edge here, which 
given this is a new pair of shoes and the edge painting was done perfectly, you don't need to do that, but sometimes you'll see the leather is cracked a little bit or maybe you want to darken a little bit. It's easy to do. You can use a leather dye, which stains. So I usually recommend just using a uh, cream polish because you can still get the pigments uh, in the leather. So now that we've gotten some cream on the entirety of the shoe, you don't want to miss the heel there. We're again going to let the shoe sit for you know 10, 15 minutes, let the cream dry, and then we're going to buff it to bring up some of the shine and to remove any excess cream. We're back. We've let the shoes rest and dry for a little bit. Now I'm just going to use the buffing brush and we're just gonna wipe off any excess, bring up the shine just a little bit, and then we're gonna compare the test shoe and the sample shoe. And you're not gonna notice much of a difference with the cream, but there's a subtle difference. I think it's probably gonna be easier to see in person than it is in the cameras, but hopefully you can see it here a little bit. Now, if I wanted to bring out a little higher level of shine, I could use a wax polish. Me, my personal style, I prefer not to have wax polish on most of my loafers. I like the more uh, matte appearance of the cream, but that's just my personal preference. If you guys want to bring out a high shine, go for it. Bring out the wax polish, hit it with a polishing cloth, and you'll have a beautiful shiny shoe. But gentlemen, those are really the quick, simple, easy things I recommend doing when you first get your shoes. Again, it's about nourishing and taking care of the leather. Leather is an organic material. It needs to be cared for. It needs a little TLC from time to time, especially when you first get the shoes. Now, if you guys have any additional piece of advice or questions, anything like that, please let us know in the comments. You can also send us a DM on Instagram at jbutlershoes, or of course, an email at help at jbutler.com. Again, my name is Justin Jeffers. I'm the founder of Jay Butler. I really love talking about our shoes and I love talking about shoe care and helping guys find the right shoe for their style. So I would love to hear from you guys. I look forward to more of these videos. I hope you guys have enjoyed the content. You've learned something. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.